What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Lex Express checking in with even more WWE 2K news. Now, this is all official news. This is not a leak. This is not made up. This wasn't found hidden in some online site. Vibe, the 2K group that is working with WWE games, interviewed Lionel Jinx and another developer that worked on the game for uh, this year, WWE 2K22, and they revealed you know, so much great things, but I highlighted some of the more important stuff that I think you guys want to know. So here it is. We're going to read it together. I put it on the screen for you all to see. So we're going to start off with the first one. Everyone that can possibly get scanned got scanned. Now, what they meant by that was that if the wrestler was too old or gone or just wasn't able to get scheduled, um, you know, past or present or whatever, then it didn't happen. But I'm sure that's that's mainly like if they weren't able to scan, for example, like The Rock and, you know, uh, you know, Ultimate Warrior, like these these other wrestlers that are either unavailable or just past, you know, uh, we're not talking about current superstars or anyone that is under contract with them right now that's active because they're basically saying that everyone that they had on site got scanned pretty much. That's that's just the way they put it. I'm paraphrasing here, but that's what they meant. They overhauled the lighting. If you guys saw my last video with the screenshots, man, you could literally tell just the shine and glare on the, you know, on the on the tires, on the on the skin, on the faces. It, you, the glare and just everything is just much better in terms of lighting. So I definitely believe that they overhauled the lighting. They rescanned the belts and equipments. So, you know, like the, they were talking about how the ladders and the belts and everything just looks way better than it's ever looked because it was done from the ground up in terms of scanning, you know, and, and putting all these items back in the game. Presentation completely overhauled to replicate real atmosphere. Now, what that means exactly is that they actually put new angles and shots with the camera where it gave you more of like a fisheye view and you were able to capture more than before. And they replicated the presentation from live TV. So, you know, Randy Orton's entrance and the start of the show and things like that now look much closer than it's ever looked. And it captures, you know, the the the, the true atmosphere of being live in the event. And then we got my rise, which that is now confirmed to have an average of 25 hours for each story. Now, the male character and female character will each have their own story, which means that we have two stories to play in my rise. And it's going to be around 50 hours combined. We also have a brand new fight engine and they want you to play the tutorial. They stressed out a lot um, the fact that. They recommend everyone plays the tutorial. Even if you're old vets or newcomers, don't skip the tutorial. Check it out because there's a learning curve to this new game since it was rebuilt. And then they also have a new targeting system using arrows, not just with the names and stuff causing confusion. They have a, a, a brand new targeting system that the, you know, the players at Vibe said that it was much better than before. So between the new fight engine and the and the targeting system, plus other things that they were able to add, they redesigned the gameplay, essentially. And then it does have cross uh, platform community creations. Wow, I spelled community wrong. But yes, that is the big banger right there. There is now cross platform community creations it doesn't mean that you could cross play like the matches online are not going to be able to. Uh, be set up between you know ps4 and xbox but the community creation will be uh cross-platform so you'll be able to find creators from you know ps4 on xbox and from xbox on ps4 which is amazing news so today was actually you know a, a great day in terms of you know uh reveals and details and and just having more information on this game now, I am butthurt still about the prices. I think that they went a little bit beyond the price point that I thought this game should be. I thought the max price for WWE 2K22 should have been at $100 with everything uh, extra included. 
um, but they made the NWO edition 120, and I, I, I covered that in a whole video, and my reaction is up on there as well. So I don't really want to talk about that too much here. I just want to focus on the positives, and that's the screenshot video that I did with my boy Trout. Shout out to him. In that video, I just, me and him, we bounced off of each other. Like we we're just going crazy over the images that we saw. And then you combine that with the, the bullet points that we just talked about right here, right now. This game is looking real good, guys. It's looking real promising. And this is just the beginning. From now till March 8th, which is when the Deluxe Edition launches, along with the N uh, NWO for Life Edition, um, there's definitely some sort of roadmap that they have um, with, you know, roster reveals and other details about the game. Now, in my next video, we're going to be talking about my GM and looking at the, the trailer and what it revealed this time around. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you guys like WWE 2K22, you guys want to see gameplay when the game comes out, I'm going to be live streaming it. I'm going to be uploading content on it. I'm hopefully going to be starting a league depending on how many of you subscribe to this channel and join the Lex Express community. Now, I do upload other types of content like unboxings, vlogs, um, reviews, reactions, game reviews, movie reviews, just all sorts of different videos is up on the channel. Not just WWE stuff, but I will be uploading tons of WWE content going forward. So drop a like. I'll see you all later. Peace out.